Alrighty, Roo. We are back. Yeah, back to exploring this weird old city. And we're gonna make our way down the road, say, and we're gonna... But apparently nobody drives in. Oh, it's an open door. Can I get through the door? Can I crouch? No, apparently not. Nope. Oh, the game is freaking out on me. I don't know why. What's up? Yeah, it looks like we go straight ahead this way. Hey, handsome. Yeah? Can I have some fun? Are you bleeding? It looks like it. Yeah, we're just gonna walk away. But there's also just a lot of people that just look dirty because of... Why does anyone live here? I don't know. This is not even a functioning community. I mean, I guess that's just kind of Lovecraft for you, Link. I guess? This is... Because, yeah, there's really nothing about this town at the moment that would scream, like, yeah, I want to live here. Yeah, this I'm is... going to totally visit. This is the dream vacation spot. Is it here? No. Didn't really tell us where other than the corner. I'm wondering if it's this place. So that's an inhabited place. Expedition headquarters. Hi, friend. Way to just walk by and not say nothing. Alright. Looks like this place has been raided, though. Yeah. The giant footprint was an indication. Guess I don't need the key. Yeah. Somebody already kicked the door in. Ooh. Dangers of diving. Divers with the bends can suffer from numerous symptoms, including pain, impaired movement, nausea, vomiting, and disorientation. Acute symptoms can occur within 10 minutes of surfacing and include paralysis, numbness, blindness, deafness, dizziness, seizures, confusion, or words coming out all weird. The paralysis and numbness can involve several different parts of the body at the same time. So, I did a research assignment. Someone smashed it beyond repair. Okay. I did a research assignment back in like the 7th or 8th grade on the bends. Scared the living shit out of me. <laughs> to this day, diving just sounds terrifying. And anytime I watch a movie and they do deep sea diving, I'm like, they're gonna get the bends. Because they're surfacing way too quickly. They're not pressurizing. Yeah, I mean... Diving would be very, uh... Oh! Cause Hold on. I mean, keep going. No, it's just, you know, there's so many weird things that live in the ocean that... Okay, we've got a bird. Whoa! Okay... We yeah. found a secret doorway! Cause that's how rooms work. And it Let's let our sanity come back. Yeah. Plus, hopefully it won't be as bad for you if I'm not walking around while it's happening. Yeah. But things are turned to normal a little bit. Well, I saw the blackness on the edges of the screen. Yeah. And was like, huh. But, no, yeah, diving just scares the living shit out of me. That's a tank of eels. Have you ever eaten eel? I don't believe I have. I have in sushi. It's not bad in sushi. H. Doe, anthropologist. Well, I guess, yeah, in that sense, I probably would have. So, like, unagi? Yeah, yeah. Just one of those not really realizing it at the time. Yeah. The Oakmont University Department of Anthropology welcomes the newest addition to its rank, Professor Harriet Doe. Her brilliant discoveries about the origin of Inuit tribes have added a new page to the history book of humanity. Now Professor Doe will embark on the new expedition to hopefully shed light on the source of the flood, and in doing so, shed light on what may yet be to come. So we might need to go to the university to find her, or find more about her. Map of Cape Cod. Yeah. Looks like there was something here, but it's been erased. This definitely seems like the person to talk to. I was wondering if maybe that would... Yeah. But anyway. Show what was erased. Ooh, crate. 
What's so diving scares me and fire is a very big fear of mine. Ooh, that's a hole in the floor. Uh, is a very big fear of mine. Do you what is like a big irrational or rational fear? Because I think spiders and fire are very rational fears to me. Just I saying. Mean, but something a lot of people would share in common. I don't I mean, there are people out there that like that's spiders, but it's not right. something you hear very often. Mm -hmm. Most people very much do not like them. Um, um, da da. Sedatives. I recommend discarding all charms, amulets, and religious symbols which are of no use, applying them scientifically valid methods of protection. So they're looking for protection for mm -hmm. the mind. How to protect the mind. But, oh, the fuck. I did not notice that when we came upstairs. Me either. Interesting. Um, but no, I'd say as I've gotten older, I definitely do not like the ocean like I yes, did. Yes, the as ocean a, is terrifying. As a kid, never really thought about it, because I was like, yeah, there's things that live here, but it's, you know, it's fine. But the older you get, the more you realize, like, no, there's just so many things that can go wrong here. Yeah, it's, it's just, it's scary. Good. Especially because you don't know what's under the water. Yeah, I think... Ah! Jesus! Oh. oh, oh, wow, you're getting shot. Oh, God. Switch away from your camera. Somebody apparently does not want you down here. What's the... Fish guy. Can I pick up bullets? I think I got... No, I got no bullets out of that. And I now have to heal... Well, that was most unexpected. Yeah, I was just looking at clues, and then this fucker comes and shoots me. I uh, guess this helmet's beyond repair. Um, but yeah, no, I think one of the last times I'd really went to the beach and, like, went swimming was just a good example of that, because it was, like, basically had a, uh wave come, like, washing over us, and apparently there was a jellyfish that, like, went about a foot away from me that never saw. Oof. Now, the thing that gets me is just how big the actual, like, ocean is and how deep it is. Yeah. Like, and you don't know what's really beyond, like, beneath there. Like, cartoons, the anglerfish is the perfect example. Yeah, you don't realize how big it actually is. Right? Because cartoons make it look like it's the size of, like, a poodle. Yeah. At, at best. Like, it's they make it more like it's like a cat. And then you actually see it in, like, the museum, and it's the size of a fucking Volkswagen van. And you're like, so wait, there's just groups of these things down there? Yeah, that's the thing is, you know, there's so much down there that just dwarfs anything on land since they don't have to worry about walking around sustaining their own weight. It's just the water holding them. I don't, I don't like it, man. I am not... Ooh! Oh, we just found the guy who busted in. I forgot about that. So let's walk through our investigation. Grab the papers. Smash the rest. Okay. It's a cloaked figure again. We don't have time to pick it. Stand back. Yep, that's very much the guy kicking it down, so there's three of them. I Oh, so they're the ones who locked it up. So it looks like... Looks like a couple humans in there. Well, looks like or it looks like two. a human and then two, yeah, two fish people. Alright. Let's see if there's any upstairs, any clues upstairs. So clearly... We just shot one of the fish people, but that leaves... Another fish person and human. That got away. That got away. Okay, nothing else upstairs, so it's all downstairs. I was wondering where to go next, because I'm like... It felt like I found everything. Yeah. Burn it all. Make sure you get the adverts. Time to figure this out. I mean, this is... It's not hard. Yeah, there's a pretty distinct line of travel here. One. 
We don't have time to pick it. Stand back. Grab the papers. Smash the rest. Three. That voice makes me think of the fifth element. I fight. <laughs> Burn it all. Make sure you get the adverts. Several men broke into the expedition headquarters. Mm -hmm. but they didn't smash, they burned. The archives, even the newspapers. Whoa! They just love. Ah! They just keep loving to throw those things over there on the side. Uh. They really do. So, we figured that out. Which means. The expedition archive is lost, but I still have clues to follow up on. They left the city on a freighter um, from Grim Grimhaven Bay. Uh, there might be recent postings or ads about the freighter in the Oakmont Chronicle. So I need to find a copy of the newspaper. Yep. Or do I have a copy of the newspaper? Well, this is still yellow, so maybe there's newspapers still here in the building? Are a few damp papers all that's left of the expedition? Someone smashed it beyond repair. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I guess there's something that's... I'm missing something to complete this building off. It was maybe in this room because we didn't really see anything in here. Yeah. And we did that. No, it's gotta be upstairs. Upstairs or in the basement. I did the box because it was the weird rocks. We looked over here. Um. Nothing in the desk. Nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing there. What? Oh, I didn't find that. These samples glitter in a weird way. I wonder where they came from. And I didn't find this. L. Sullivan and B. Morgan, local fisherman, report number of bubbles and about a weird sample from the ocean. Uh, claims numerous dead and deformed fish. The fish are taken for analysis. Rock that rose from the seabed, making the fog shine different colors. The witnesses felt sick and dizzy for at least two to three days after the instance. L.P. Stern got several burns after chiseling off a part of the rock in his basement. Hmm. So okay, so this rock obviously has some form of mysterious properties. Yeah. Evil mysterious properties. Evil. Well, that finishes off this building. Yep. Another job well done. So, I would suggest, so we can clear this marker, we don't yep. need it anymore. Um, here's the police station, here's the Chronicle. Let's go to the Chronicle, because I feel like that's where we need to go for the newspaper. Yeah, not a bad way to head. See if we can figure out a little something that's going on with these fishermen, and these fishmen stealing stuff. Well, they're covering something up. Yeah. Something they don't want known. They're obviously Cthulhu worshippers. So. This game is definitely a lot more detective. Yeah. Which is good. This is what I wanted. Yeah, they're very much playing into that aspect of it. At least for now. As long as it doesn't get like halfway and they decide, you know what? You're not detecting anymore. Yeah, that's true. Now you're just running and shooting things. Bless you, Oliver. Hey, look, newspapers. A whole bunch of them. Hello? The old papers are by the door. Take them and stop bothering me already. I think you've got me. I literally just walked in. I know. Aren't you a newcomer? No. Do you see the code? Um, I changed. 
What's what's that got to do with it? Help me out here. What's the connection between newcomers and old newspapers? It's cold sleeping in the street, and they come to collect the old newspapers for a month. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I am a newcomer. Charles Reed, private investigator. Mm -hmm. And I also need ah. old newspapers. <laughs> uh, I grabbed the wrong piece. Exactly. They like to use ah, the newspapers for warmth. So, so you're the one who cracked the Albert Throgmorton murder case. Nice work. I'm Helen Bland. Say, can you do me a favor? Give me an exclusive. What you interview. want, Helen? You won't regret it. The Oakmont Chronicle is the best newspaper for miles around. I feel like it's the only newspaper for miles around. I'm yeah. Sure make some time for you, Miss Bland. Yep. Also. You may want to be careful with that cigarette in a building full you still of want that stacks of papers. newspapers. I got some time now, if you're ready. Uh, 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 oh, absolutely. We know that you're the private eye who solved the case. We just discovered that. Tell a reader something more about yourself. Um. Uh, sure. I'm a former Navy diver. Served on the USS Cyclops, and well, after the war. Oh, look, we're getting some information about our good friend Charles. Yeah. Is his name Charles? Oh, a brave sailor. Well, I imagine Charles Reed. To local life easily. Yeah, we never said we, we were brave. We just said we served. Uh, maybe we'll have the chance to work together later. <laughs> Who knows? And everybody in this game has green question. eyes. Yeah. Why are you here? What brought you to Oakmont? It's very uh, unsettling with some of the character models. I've been investigating. Oh, I meant to click the other one. All around Massachusetts. The missing people all seem to have ended up here for some reason. Hmm. That was a lie. The but... mystery of the newcomers. Okay. And you want to know why they're here? Well, they aren't very forthcoming about it. And it doesn't help that most of them aren't thinking mm -hmm. straight. To put it mildly. Really do. I think that's enough for now. I can't give the readers too much all at once. Thank you for your interview. Mr. Reed. My pleasure. Yeah, maybe I'll do something interesting enough to make the papers again. You never know. See you later. Ooh, extra, extra. Got us a trophy. So. TV's off and she's not in there. Hmm. Leave it open. Alright. Alright, so. We got our interview. Ooh, what's this? Newspaper archive. Oh god, what am I doing? I don't understand. I don't understand. Um, so choose the evidence that I'm looking for. So the expedition is lost, but I still have clues to follow up on. They left the city on a freighter from Grimhaven Bay. There might be recent postings or ads about the freighter in the Oakmont Chronicle. So we're not looking for a period piece. We're not looking for people. Ooh, adverts. So advertisements. And Grimhaven Bay. I gotta pick one from each. So, after the flood, right? Yeah, that would be my guess, because the expedition would have been... Post-flood, right? The 30-ton ship Titania, which is where the lifeboat was from, yep. is currently available for hire. You will find it fully equipped for transport as well as the aiding of underwater ventures and exploration for the price of 70, 70 rifle bullets. That's a lot of fucking bullets. Yeah. Or the equivalent thereof per week. Those interested are urged to contact Captain Jeremiah Sanders. Colonel Sanders. Um, well, he's a captain. This is probably early on in the career. For, contract, uh, for contracting details... Those pesky details. It's a horrible disease. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he can be found at Pier 3, Oakmont Port, Grimhaven Bay. Alright, well that gives us our evidence, right? We know where to go. 
Yeah, Pier 3. Yeah, gives us something to work with. Okay, so how do I get back to fucking Pier 3? Also, I can take that off. Um, so, Pier 3 is this pier here. So let's go ahead and we'll mark it with the newspaper there. And... <laughs> oh! <laughs> Did not expect him to not put his legs down. He just plopped down on the ground. He's okay. He's just looking at you from the hallway now like, what the hell, man? Like, I've done it 20 times. I figured you knew what was coming. He just decided not to put his feet out under him. He <laughs> just laid down on the ground like, okay, sure. Um, so, to get down there, we will need to get in our boat and pretty much take it down and around to one of the roads. It looks like Old Church Road down here, and then we'll have to walk down. Yeah. Because we can't fast travel anywhere. So, yeah, all right. Yeah. Forward to my boat. So this will be our longest journey through the town. And it'll be on a water boat. For more than just the five seconds it took to turn the corner. Right? Hey, look, they corrected my ship for me. Nice. You don't got to try to back up and turn around. No, the biggest thing is, remember, is learning how the hell to go forward. This is so hard to steer. Oh, my God. Where am I going now? Okay, so I need to go down and curve towards... Okay. So you go, you have to curve towards the left until you can pretty much not go and then go right. Oh, so much debris. I know. Seems you think if they use these waterways so often, they would. You would think clear but, out the debris. But clearly, based off their uh, streets, so not ones for cleaning. It's very true. It's got to be because of the madness. Wow, this is such a slow form of travel. Yeah, it is. I feel like Kratos paddled faster than this. He really did. I mean, at least there was interesting stories for Kratos. Uh, okay, I thought it, like, froze. No, 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 I hit the button and then it... Okay, so I gotta just pretty much just follow straight, and that should lead me to a place to jump out of the boat. Yeah, that's very much just him on his own, just... Come just... on, man. Lay down with this. Ah, oh God. Okay, this way. And then... This way. Right? Yep, straight ahead. Lando. Alright, we've ported. Yes, we've landed. In the port. I hit the map button. The map causes this game to freeze yeah, real it quick. Does. All right, so pretty much go down, take a right, and or take a left, and then and follow that straight down straight, to the port. Yeah. So we get back to the uh, squishier side of town. This way. And then just straight down. So, okay. So, I mean, it's a decent-sized map, pulling up the map. Um, but, like, from here to there... Not too big. So, like, it's a decent-sized map, but the world isn't too huge. Yeah. Which, for an investigation-type game, is fine. Like, yeah, yeah. There's only so much you're going to be in able to investigate before it gets old. Yeah, I'm very curious the kinds of twists and turns this is going to push us through. Yeah, because right now it's been fairly standard stuff outside the fish people and... And the one side mission we have that are just a bunch of notes and letters. Yeah. And then obviously the one weird monster thing you had to shoot. That's apparently commonplace. Stupid common. Alright, so there should be a doorway through here. I think it was this way. And then... Of course he did. Yep. All right, here you 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 run towards the port. I'm gonna deal with him. Oh, come on, Oliver. Let me 
Don't even walk crazy around all of this. To pull up the map is the touch screen. Yeah, we're just having some cat problems. <laughs> the usual. Okay, so I just want to kind of curve a little bit and then follow that around to the pier. Get some, get some light from the crane. And that's taking us back to the, pretty much where we started. Oh, those are. Uh, Okay. Huh. Yep, so all these people very much moved on. Finally. I'm almost curious to see how the uh, end's doing after everything. Under the keel bar, exit. It's a very. Uh, okay, we got a bunch of lights going. A lot of cranes. So, remember that eating shark we saw earlier. Is he gone? Are people eating him? No. Are humans eating him? But there's something not too far from it that we missed. Oh! Giant octopus. Hi, giant octopus squid. Yeah. So... Ugh. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Guess it's more... <sighs> Well, it should, he should be around there somewhere. I don't know exactly where. Yeah, there's just somebody... It's uh, Pier 3. Oh, what is in the trunk? That might be the guy who's... Oh, you gotta hold it. <laughs> but... I would say you know the controls. There's like somebody... Going... Ah, 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 ah. Oh, is there? Yeah. Let's so get my earbuds back in. Oh, yeah, I hear him. Okay, he's getting louder. Pancake. I guess I last. I guess that's who it was. I guess so. Help. Help. What's going on? Some sea creatures swarmed over the piers. I hit here. But these walls won't stand up to them. Okay. Please help me. Sure. <clears throat> what? What creatures? What are you talking about? Give me the answers! Feast. They came to feast on the blood. They eat the dead. I'm looking for Captain Sanders. Captain, not Colonel. Here in the Captain, port. yes. Did the creatures get him? This is pre-Chicken uh, Sanders. I saw something. Mm -hmm. Help me. I, I, I'll tell you what I know. Combat? Yeah, looks like you're gonna be fighting some. Uh... If you are crouched, how do I crouch? <laughs> I haven't figured that out yet. <laughs> it very much isn't something that's come up yet. Circle. All right. All right. Let's see how many sea creatures we're talking about here. He didn't actually specify. <laughs> what is this? These bullets? Yeah. Yeah, I got a bullet. A bullet. Woo. All right, combat at the pier. Well, we got one. We're just gonna. We got two. That did not work well. Nope. It got their attention though. Oh Jesus! Oh Jesus! It's not going well. Come here, motherfucker! I will shovel you! Shovel Knight! Bitch! Okay, apparently it was just two. Yeah, you might want to look away. Yeah. 
combat is going to be a pain in the ass for you in this game. Yeah, it is. At least against creatures. Any eldritch beast, yeah. Yeah. Uh-oh. Did I activate one? Ooh. Hi, gun. They emptied every chamber. Oh, still stinks of burnt powder. I mean, you can still take it with Shot you. Shot dead. Point blank. Whoa. Shot dead. Don't look at the screen. Look away. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's because I have a thing I can do. Yeah, I'd, I'd just look away for a couple minutes, David. Yeah. Uh, I'm waiting for my sanity to go back up. Maybe it was my sanity was too low. Because those creatures probably took it out of me more than we noticed. Yeah, they was, it was starting to drain. And we're good. Luckily, it bumps back up pretty quick. Yeah, as long as you don't get too much around you. Let's just look here, see if... Shot dead. Point blank. Okay, so nothing creepy happened that time. Yeah. I should probably make some more bullets, honestly. Yeah, it's hard to say. Like, it said you cleared the pier, but it doesn't mean there won't be more waiting for you. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Look at you rolling in the bullets. Look at your Alright, so I can hold seven bullets. Good to know my clip size. Yeah. Important for future... Stuff. Oh, the monsters sure didn't leave behind much. Gotta be out of your head to do this to a man. Oh, don't look. Oh! Oh, are these real? I can't tell. Oh, my sanity has dropped insanely. Yeah. From yeah, examining it's... that body. So, David, you're just going to want to eat some cheese balls and look away. <laughs> yeah. Let's crouch and search. Good God. Remarks hey. here. Just like in the other one. Yeah, so it's twice now we've had a Cape Cod. Wow. That is not terrifying. Nope. This would be a weird artifact in any collection. No, just a perfectly normal statuette. <laughs> uh, time Charter Contract. I, Captain Jeremiah Sand... I, Captain Jeremiah Sanders, hereby agree to take on board my vessel Titiana. Titana. Titana. Titania. Tittyberg. <laughs> Any persons designed are designated by Robert Throg Martin or Morton and the cargo detailed in the attached manifest as well as to provide them with any and all necessary assistance up to and including depth measurements as well as diving support for underwater exploration and marine life observations. Aforementioned services will take place in confidential locations in Cod Bay. Afterwards, the Titiana... Uh, will provide transport for all passengers to the Oakmont port. Compensation will be 70 bullets. Yeah, good old Captain Sanders uh, knows how to make some bullets. They were in high spirits, and plenty of them were drinking. Okay. So... The pier hasn't finished yet. So there's obviously something I'm missing. Oh, there's a ladder. Can you go up to it? No. We looked at that, we looked at that. There might be something else on the pier, maybe? This would be a weird... It's gotta be something else on the pier that I missed. So we looked at that body, we looked at this body. Oh! Recreation. 
Perfect. Uh, you can't take me. Eat this. Okay. Sure. I mean, you don't gotta run your mouth and talk trash when it's clearly about to kill you. You already got an axe stuck in you. Like that's not a good sign. Not a good sign at all. To the mare with you! Ugh. Die! Die! Okay. Oh, what's happening? No more drink. All we've seen. And you telling me we ain't allowed rum? Let's get a handle on what actually happened here. There's a... Next to the bed is a little spray bottle for him. It's green. No more drink. So All we've seen. I think that happened. Are you telling me we ain't allowed rum? Then they got pissy at each other. To the mare with you. Ugh. Die. Die. And then they actually murdered each other. Ugh. You can't take me! Eat this! For whatever reason, the crew went berserk. Only one man got away. He's calling our bluff. Oh, don't look, David. But I think we figured out... No, we haven't figured it out yet. We got most of it. Not all of it. Huh. And that cause it, and that's leaving the investigation zone. And now we're back in it. Okay. So there's something here we missed. Oh, yeah. What is it? We looked at that body. Come down here. Nothing in the boat. Nothing in the nets. Thing with that. Maybe there's this? No, it's just fish. It looked different from far away. We looked at this because they were. Nice spirits. Right. Any of them drink. them drinking and. I'm king of the world! <laughs> Stretch your arms out wide. I will shoot you. Spray you with the water bottle. Uh, go back for a second. Where's it back? Are you looking at that? Uh, yeah, I guess it is just the light. Okay. Hmm. Joy's of always just that one last clue that is always obvious when you finally find it, but until that point is just Cape Cod. There were marks here, but they've been erased. Wonder if it's something like on the statue? No, because the only thing that showed up was on the front. I don't know because I feel like we looked at everything the only other thing is I could just look at the dead bodies again gotta be out of your head to do this to a man oh, the monsters sure didn't leave behind much that seems like it shot dead Maybe I need to do something in the mind place. 
Well, it's not the wounded sailor. Hmm. There was a fight among the crew, only one man survived, though he was badly wounded in the shoulder. Oh, so I guess the only thing I could do is... See if there's any kind of... Like, investigation? They emptied every chamber. Okay. Well, there's a footprint that seems to go off in this direction. And then it just disappears. Let's go back up to that guy and say something. Maybe he'll yeah. help point us in a good direction. Yeah, maybe give us... Since he's supposed to tell us where to find him. Now, yeah. tell me about Sanders. He got back several hours ago. Those things, they came because of him. Uh-huh, uh-huh. This Sanders, what kind of man is he? Uh, newcomer. Seems so many like newcomers. All newcomers. Okay, We're yeah. all newcomers. Uh -huh. So there's that many newcomers. Are they really newcomers anymore? Not really. What happened on the Titania? Titania? A damn massacre. I heard the shots. I went out. I saw the whole thing. Sailors bleeding, dying. Blood hit the water, and then... Well... Then the wild beasts came to feast. I gotta find Sanders. Where is he? Saw him get away. Just after the shooting. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ran for the pier. Didn't see where he went after that. Did, uh, did you see anyone else from the expedition? Anyone? No. Like the doctor? Only Sanders. I'd bet my life no one else made it back. Well, that's not good. Oh, and now it's done. So we had to talk right. to the guy. Makes sense. So, like, there's nothing else over there that... Yeah. Uh, we have a new mind point. Knowledge point. Yeah. I was thinking... Gain a 50% chance of a double quest reward item. Ooh, that's nice. Gain more experience from all sources. Remain sane for much longer. I kind of like that idea. Yeah. Because it does seem to deplete pretty quickly if there's uh, some weird stuff around. Yeah. So, the wounded sailor and Sanders fled. So the harbor master saw Captain Sanders leaving the pier. The only survivor of the fight on the third pier of Grimhaven Bay was a man badly wounded in the shoulder. Captain Sanders is the wounded man and is now seeking medical aid. So because of that, we now have to find the wounded Sanders. Clearly, there's got to be some kind of medical place nearby for him to go to. Yes, yeah, so let's. We'll take this mark off. Why can't I? Ah. Oh, because I'm placing it. Uh, that's the port. Here we go. Hospital. It's a long run for a hospital. It makes the most sense, though. Yeah. Whole time open you don't bleed out. I can. All right. Ooh, can we fast travel? How do we fast travel? Because we did the skills, we did our lore, our casebook is good. We did all that. Yeah. So can I just come up here and be like fast travel? Yeah. Nope. Seems like I've got to. Uh, Find a phone booth for that. Which I would imagine there'd probably There's... be one around here somewhere. If there is, we haven't found it. Yeah, though I guess we haven't really looked anywhere on the left-hand side. Um, I think this is where we came out, wasn't it? Because this is the murder house, and then we came down here, and this is where the lifeboat was and stuff. Oh, uh, yeah, no, yeah, you're right. So, I think... Well, no, because the lifeboat was... Hey, we can go look. We got time. 
Thanks. got time in this episode. Lifeboat was to the right because it was why you were following uh, the clue. Well, no, because there's the house. The lifeboat yeah. was down here to the right. Or to the left, I mean. Because that's the dock we came in on. And then lifeboat was down there. We didn't come down here really. This is about as far as we this is as far as we can get in here right now. Yeah. Very much just a bunch of dead ends. Alright. So yeah. Yeah, so I guess we gotta run back unless we can somehow find Yeah, unless there's one like shortly into the city, but Squirt you, kitty. Yeah. You're not in front of the TV. I don't know where to go. If we go this way, we hit more dead ends. And then here is Pier. And there is nothing on the pier. Nope. Nothing on the pier. Well, it's nice getting some sunshine. Yeah, it's a little bit of sunniness, isn't it? Makes it a little happier looking of a place, despite it still being a miserable place. Oh, it is a horrible place. Mother. He didn't mean to do that. He just knocked it with his butt. Yeah. But his delaying is not happening. Yeah, he made it. You have had a snack today, Oliver. You normally don't get snacks. Is that a phone booth? There we go. It's like yeah. there's gotta be one nearby. Yeah, I was like, it's such a big port. Like, I don't see how they couldn't give you one that's right there. So we come here, so and then we no. come up. There we go. Fast travel. Look there we that. go. That makes our lives so much easier. Yeah. Depending Cause on. the map is it's a decent size. Of course for it what you're doing. On how long this loading screen is. <laughs> oh. If the loading screen's really long, then it's like you might as well have ran. Honestly. But you know what? We can easily pick up from the loading screen in the next one. We did good today. We we went through the docks. Yeah. We're uh got a little more of an introduction to those uh keep forgetting what they're calling them but <laughs> fish people not the fish people the creatures oh the wi wilder beasts wilder beasts yeah wilder beasts wild yeah so we get a, a little more of a meeting with them yeah but yeah we've completed a few clues around the place and got our first fast travel yeah and now we're going to head over here to the hospital, which it, it makes the most sense, right? Yeah. He needs medical aid, he'll go... Like unless... Well, there's a hospital, and there's the asylum. I doubt he's in the asylum. Yeah. yeah, he'll be in the hospital. I would hope you would go to the hospital first before you just jump straight to the asylum. Like... So, yeah, that would be the safest assumption for where he would be. I'm curious, if Coverside looks this shitty, right... And so does the docks. I'm curious what all of these places look like. Like Old Grove. Yeah. Notice how there's all the roads are still there. Yeah, because Old Grove's where... The rich people live. Yeah, so there's definitely going to be some of those spots that I'm sure are nice and clean and hospitable. Yeah, so it makes me wonder what kind of the rest of this looks like. And this is very curious up here. Yeah. Between that darkness there and that big thing right there on the left hand side like in the middle of the city go down this thing yeah yeah i don't know what that is i'm curious and then you got all this down here yeah and the same thing even with the advent you have that section in the middle yeah so it'll be a bit of uncovering piece by piece i feel like the first chapter and the second chapter are very much unlocking the docks and cover side yeah just getting just really dealing with all the water threats yeah and yeah, 
naturally the further we get in it's probably just going to get weirder and weirder and yeah just never a good sign when the top of the map's all black and no 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 like it's trying to consume everything but yeah we'll have to figure out how to get over there because like the boat is over here we need it to be over here yeah. so we'll probably need to come up and around and then the boat will spawn here and then we'll just cross the street and bam hospital can only hope because otherwise uh it's gonna be a weird trip there's no land way to get there we have to get a boat somehow yeah because even all that down below is also it's water. all water and so we'd have to take the boat literally down and around this way up and through here just to even connect unless the boat spawns in one of these three ports yeah and whew because, you know, can't swim. Nope. I'm wondering if the boat only spawns in, like... The main... The main road? But it spawned, like, here next to the paper, so it can't be that. All right. Yeah, well, we'll, we'll find out next time. Next time. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. Oliver. You're just sitting there in front of the TV. I know. Just anytime we debate about... Anytime we think about doing long sessions. It's always the long sessions. He's cute, though. Yeah. We can't stay mad at you, but... Cause you're so damn cute! Yeah, but man, can you be difficult. Especially any time after 7pm.